Happy New Year guys and welcome back to the channel. So today is the 1st of January 2024. Today we have decided to jump on the Multistrada V4S. This is the dilemma we have today. Uh, we've got this flooded bit of water here. This is generally the road that we take that takes us out to the Melton to Market Harbour Road, one of my favourite roads for a bit of a ride. This water, I've got no idea how deep that is. I've seen one or two cars turn around. Uh, I've not seen anybody attempt to get through it. There's a car right at the bottom there. It doesn't look like they're going to risk it. Actually, there's a van just coming up behind me now, so um, whether they will get through or not, I don't know. Um, but we are on the Multistrada today, and we have got the ground clearance on the bike. This van's not taking their chances today. It must be pretty deep, guys, but um, I kind of fancy my chances today. We've got breakdown cover, that's the main thing. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a car coming through now. It does look fairly deep. Do I take the risk with the Multistrada? Yeah, I mean, they've, they've made it through safely. Yeah. <laughs> the old deer in the front, she'd literally got her hands like this. She was praying that they made it, and they did. But it's kind of like, which line do you take? Do you go straight through the middle? So yeah, again, we've got another couple of cars here that have just pulled up and they've decided to spin round. Nobody's willing to take the chance today. Like I say, we've got a little bit of ground clearance on this and this is the purpose of the Multistrada. <laughs> do we do it or do we not? That is the question. And I think we should just go for it. <laughs> Amy's not looking too confident. What's the worst that can happen? <sighs> Right, I'm not quite sure at the worst. We'll just, if we feel like we're gonna get into trouble, we're gonna have to bail and maybe end up kind of uh, pushing the bike. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> I don't think Amy's got her uh, waterproof boots on today. Right, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh no, there's a four before coming the other way. This is getting deep. This is getting deep, guys. We're at the point where uh, no return now. And I think this is kind of where the river sits. I'm just trying to keep the revs high, and just, just keep the bike flowing. I think because I've gone through, I've got a couple of cars following me now. So, um, <laughs> this would not be a good start to the new year if we conk out on the Multistrada, the mighty Multistrada, on the first day of 2024. Um, but he's ploughing through, guys, and this is where it comes into its own. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> a little wheelie for the girl carrying the camera back there. <laughs> right, so the first thing you've got to do when you're going through things like that is just get the brakes on because there is a noticeable difference when you're kind of waterlogged. Um, but yeah, the mighty Multistrada makes it through. So we have had a lot of rain in the last few days. And uh, not only that, a lot of wind. Uh, today's a quite mild day, eight degrees. Like I say, the sun keeps breaking through, uh, which is great, but sort of around this area where I am, I mean, you can see in these fields here, they are just like lakes. I've seen cars break down in some of these kind of roads where uh, they shouldn't really go. There is signs out, and uh, there's that big thing of like, are you insured on your bike or your car? If you break down, I don't think you are, so, um, but the Multistrada lives up to its name. 
Cruise Adventure Tourer bike. Um, and this bike's coming up for nearly three years old and uh, be three years old in March and it's been a fantastic machine. I mean, unfortunately for me, I've not done the mileage I was hoping to do on it, but if you are a subscriber to this channel, you'll probably realize I do ride a lot of other bikes. I've done a few tours this year and uh, today's video was all about just bringing you along, start of the year, wishing you a, a happy new year and um well watch out for these speed bumps they catch you out a little bit so yeah we're just going to basically tell you what our plans are for the year what we're going to be getting up to there's a guy here look he's trying to unblock this uh drain there and so on one down on the bike collection at the minute the Ducati Street Fighter has been sold guys yes uh, it was a big decision to get rid of it I love looking at the bike the bike is absolutely an awesome bit of kit um, but unfortunately for me I only did two rides on it which were both the Ducati days the Ducati track days and um, I just couldn't see me really riding it anymore and I didn't want it sitting there because there's a bit of money tied up in it so that bike's been sold um, I'll be honest, I'm half tempted to, uh, to sell them all to Strada at some point as well and just have a change really. This bike's going to be three years old in March and uh, I can't believe where the time's gone. I've really not done the mileage on the bike that I was hoping to do. Um, and the last service I did, I've done 700 miles. I'm uh, sort of embarrassed for myself really, but as you guys know, the ones that have been subscribed to my channel, the ones that have been following me, uh, will realise I've done quite a few adventure rides, but not on this bike. Um, so I've done the mileage this year, just on a variety of bikes. This is one of the problems when you start producing YouTube videos. It's fantastic to ride all the other bikes and uh, get loaned bikes and, and, and go on these bike tours have been amazing but unfortunately it doesn't give me time to ride my own bikes so but when I jump back on this bike for instance it just makes me smile it's just been uh, an awesome bit of kit um, I'm so glad I changed the uh, the tires to the Michelin Road 6s as well they were highly recommended by you guys and I'm recommending them to anybody that's got one of these bikes if you want something with a bit more grip especially in these conditions then they are a fantastic tire it's a little bit breezy around today but like I said the last couple of days we've had some high hurricane style winds and um, it's just not been possible to get out so what I'm going to do is bring an updated review on this bike. It'll be the three year review and I can tell you the good, the bad and the ugly. As for bike changes, well, I don't think I'm going to replace the Street Fighter with anything sporty as yet. Um, I do need to get out there, do some demo rides. Um, I'm kind of warming towards the middle weight adventure bike scene and um, obviously bring you guys along on those rides to see what you think but I think ultimately it comes down to what riding you want to do something that's a little bit lighter something I could do more trails on it I do think the Maltstrada is just getting a little bit too big too heavy for me so we'll just turn off down here it's one of my favorite test roads oh, we got more water settled but doesn't look too bad for this car to go through you'll probably not see it till the last minute it's right on the corner there he's done the right thing as I shall get on the other side of the road but yeah this has been the good thing about owning this bike really you're just not too sort of precious about it as in you just go out in all weathers so I'm just going to turn off down the lanes here I might be making a mistake here because I've got no idea whether these are going to be kind of rideable really it's been a little while since I've been down here but we'll, uh, we'll go check them out so I'm super impressed with these these tires on the bike they've absolutely transformed it what I am going to do is just pop it into uh, urban mode so yeah, I think even if I swap this bike out, then it's definitely going to be another adventure bike. I'm kind of warming towards the middleweight adventure bike scene. Uh, something a little bit lighter, a little bit more manageable, um, and probably something a little bit more um, off-road focused as well. Um, here's the guys, here's the cyclists, look. <laughs> they all look the same, don't they? <laughs> I've got a mate that looks like that. 
So yeah, the good thing about coming out for a ride on New Year's Day is um, the fact that you don't get anybody else out. Uh, you get a few dog walkers, maybe a few cyclists, but generally people are pretty hung over today. So um, yeah, it's the one day I kind of make the effort to go out and ride and not go out and do the party thing. Which way should we go? Let's turn a right here. Although as we've kind of gone a little bit higher, that wind has picked up. Whoa. You've got to be careful on them metal grills as well. You can't go pulling your brakes on, that's for sure. Yeah, like you can see there's plenty of water about on these lanes. I've just noticed the fuel lights come on and um, I did attempt to fuel up a little earlier on but uh, the petrol station was sure it was only one of those kind of small village ones so we need to find somewhere a little bit bigger there's some absolutely beautiful houses when you ride through these affluent villages so right we just pulled over at this uh, other petrol station here something from about the 1940s little shop there and uh, yeah this one's shut as well so uh, i think uh we need to go and find one of the, the big ones. Like I say, New Year's Day, not many places are open. The only downside to these Multistradas, as we all know, they're not the best on fuel. When that fuel light comes on, you kind of need to head to the petrol station. Just got to watch this water at the bottom of this hill. It's like a stream, a little stream going across it. Right, finally somewhere where we can fuel up it actually looks quite busy i didn't think there'd be this many people here but um we'll pop a bit of a uh, bit of fuel in the old beast so we've just fueled this beast of a bike up and uh it looks like it's going to rain any minute it has gone really dark as you can see with the the multistrada is absolutely caped up so i think we're definitely gonna need to give it a little uh, wash down when we get back i'm gonna give a big shout out also to the channel sponsors biker heads that have been absolutely fantastic uh, with me and amy here as she is wearing her new rooker kit uh, which kit is this uh, the ladies navala suit this is a gore-tex pro zips together and is fully waterproof absolutely perfect for days like this as for me i'm wearing the rooker explorer r suit today as you know if you follow this channel i've ridden with this suit to one of the highest roads in the world and i've also ridden to mount everest base camp this kit is absolutely perfect so as for the channel we've got a few bike shows we're going to be starting this year with the winter classic show the winter classic show is the first one i think then we're attending the classic dirt bike show we've also got the bigger ones like the abr festival uh, which will be there for the whole duration of that this year and uh, plenty of others uh, we can also be doing quite a few uh, bike reviews i've also got a big adventure trip coming up this year in march we've got three brand new motorcycles and i can't tell you what they are or where we are so you have to stick around for that one so we just want to say Happy New Year to you guys. Ride safe. And don't forget, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Give us a like and we'll see you in the next one.